Okay, welcome back, everybody. We're here again today for another episode of Drop an Anchor Podcast. Yellow. We're here to talk to you a little bit about personal growth and development. With a little Dr. Ellen energy and a whole lot of Foxy flavor. So today, Miss Foxy, what are we talking about? Well... Because of, because of our last conversation that we had, we were just discussing, talking about forgiveness. So I think we should just roll with that. Okay. Okay. So I feel like, I mean, I guess I don't want to start off with like all of the negative stuff. It's trying right. to, but it, it, it was still kind of weighing heavy on my heart. Just, you know, us, what we were talking about or whatever. And right. we will share and get into it um, later in the podcast, but um, forgiveness is very important and people, I think people don't want to forgive because they don't want to let the other person off the hook. But I think we're here to say that it's not really about letting the other person no. off the hook. It's about the relief that you get from yourself. Right? Right, right. And I know for me, it took a moment. It took for me to get to a certain level of growth in my journey before mm -hmm. I can even, before I was even able to forgive or think right. about forgiving because I was like, Oh no. Right. Uh -uh, you do me once and that's it. <laughs> and right? I'm a Capricorn. You I like, I'm going to give, give, give. But once you cross that border, cross that line, I'm done. Done. Yeah. Gotta. And I held on to that because I don't know if it was my pride or if it was, like I said, I don't want to let the other person off the hook or whatever, but it just weighs so heavy and you get anxiety and all of this stuff and it's really not worth it. Right. They're not worth it pretty well, much. Well, you know, for me, it's like, um, it's hard for me to hold on to something because mm -hmm. anger is a very foreign um, emotion for okay. me. I, I try not to go there because the Taurus in me will hold on to that, mm -hmm. right? So I had to make, I kind of just stray from it. So forgiveness um, for me has been automatic, but not necessarily forgiving the person per okay. se. I do it because I need to be at peace. Mm -hmm. I need to know that I'm good because mm -hmm. you did whatever you did to me and you have to live with that. Exactly. You know, but the problem I had was putting it into perspective like, do I deal with this person again? Because they got some demons that <laughs> don't need to be in our energy, exactly. in, our, in our realm. And, and just through my own personal growth and development um, and maturity, mm -hmm. I've realized that when you forgive, you don't have to deal with that person. You don't have to accept the negative behavior or mistreatment that that person will do. Because if they did it to you one time, mm -hmm. they'll do it again, right? Yeah. So... I'm just like, okay, I forgive you because I need to be at peace inside. I need to know that I've done my part. Right. But then there's the situations where the person that needs to be forgiven is not just a friend. It's actually a family member that ain't going nowhere. Yeah, that's true. And that's when you get into that situation. Now you're dealing with a whole nother ball of wax because you have family gatherings. You have, and they're going to be exactly, there. Exactly. And then you don't want to be, I mean, like, I don't want to be on edge at my family right. gathering. You're going right. to have fun, enjoy yourself or whatever. So at what point do you just be like, you know what? I need, just need to let it go. But I ain't going to forget. Right. That's what I'm not going to do. Right. And I know where you are. In, where right. You, I, I see you. Exactly. You showed me who you were, and I believe you. Absolutely. So, but for me, I, I've been in that situation a lot of times because just because somebody does me wrong, and you know, we have a really big tribe. Mm -hmm. So how do I then, I don't, I don't want to make them, you know, be bitter towards that person because they did me wrong. So then- right. Hence, you have that same situation where you're all in the same room, mm -hmm. you know. But my biggest problem is that people who don't acknowledge that they actually did something. That's that's where I have the problem. That's what I'm working on right now. Like at this very moment. Yeah, because to I me, if you, if you could at least acknowledge and know that you was wrong, right. then I might feel a little bit better Even in if forgiving you. Don't you might sorry. be a little easier to forgive you because yeah. you feeling like, you know what? That was wrong. You know, I should have did or, that. Yeah, but when you just keep on saying, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. I don't understand mm -hmm. why she's mad or I don't understand why the situation is happening. That's when I'm having, you know, what I'm having trouble with. Right. Because I have forgiven you because I've let it go, but then that part still eats at me. Mm -hmm. How can you look me in the eye knowing that you did what you did and then not 
you know, take account, not be accountable for it, not even because say misery loves company. Yeah. That's why. That's what it yeah. is. Yeah. They miserable inside, so they want to continue to be miserable and hold and bring you down with them. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's, but it's just really crazy, <laughs> it, like that malicious thing, you know. Like, and then you think too. Um, did they do that on purpose, or yeah. are they like? Trying to just see what I'm gonna no, do. To I'm a, okay, <laughs> like because you don't be testing me my gangster because I'm a rat. <laughs> <laughs> so that Man. that's yeah, that's really challenging. Mm -hmm. Do you have an experience that you want to talk about? <laughs> Do I have an experience? Absolutely. <laughs> Do I want to talk about it? That's the whole reason why we're here today is because I started talking about it and it just kind of makes me emotional. But yeah. I feel a little bit better because I have been able to forgive that person in the situation or whatever. But still, when I bring it up, it makes me feel like I can't believe that shit. Like, yeah. really? you look back at like, really? Like, we and that's was how tight, you feel? tight. Right, right, right. So it's a friend. Okay. okay, it's a friend, but this friend was so close that I considered them family, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think that's what hurt the most because when I say we were there for each other, like in everything, thick and thin, raising kids, you know, all this kind of stuff together. But when it comes to the point where you are challenging my livelihood, you're trying, mm -hmm. you know, you are trying to come between my job, my home, my finances, my marriage. That's when I draw the line. Yeah. That's you done cross way too many lines for me. And regardless to how close we are or, you know, how we consider each other family and how the kids still play, I'm good. Right. I'm good. I can't allow you to be in that position to hurt me again. So now all of these walls are up and mm -hmm. and I'm I'm done. But the the anxiety and the resentment that I'm feeling is on my shoulders because I loved that person, you know, right. and I trusted that person. And, and it was like, damn. So um, long story short, the person reached out to me and was like, hey, you want to have lunch? You want to talk? It's been a while. And I hadn't gotten to that growth yet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't in the place in my life where I was ready for that. Right. No. Like when I cut you off, I cut. Right. You don't off. call me. Exactly. Don't I don't want to see you. If I am in the same room with you, I don't see you. And you're you're invisible. not even calling, like, you know what? What I did was wrong. Right. And I, I really just would call like and say, to. Hey, let's go yeah, to lunch. I would like, really like happened. to sit down and talk about it because as I'm growing, I realize the things. It wasn't that. It right. was like you glossing over everything. Like it was cool. And now we should go have coffee. Er, no, we're not. Right. That's not what we're not going to do. Right. So as I progressed in my journey, and I mean, just to be honest with you guys, the passing of other people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? People are dropping like flies. Right. And the young, and I'm just like, you have to live every day like it's your last. And I don't want it to be my last, and I'm still holding on to right. that bitterness and that anger for what? Because guess what? What they tried to do, I overcame that. Right. You, didn't, you did not do what you thought exactly. you was going to do. <laughs> exactly. I overcame that. So why am I still holding on to it? Because I didn't let it, you know, impact my mm -hmm. life the way that they wanted to. So why am I still holding on to it? So I ended up reaching out to that person because now I'm at the point where I can be the bigger person and be like, you know what? I ain't forgot, mm -hmm. but I do forgive. Mm -hmm. And maybe you were in a place in your life where that made sense to you or what have mm -hmm. you and just move on because guess what if for any reason something happened i would hate that there was still some kind of bitterness right. and tension um the the meetup never happened and okay. i'm okay and i'm okay with that right because i've already released it and i've let right. go and that's off my shoulders now i have in a place where i'm creating boundaries and i know exactly i'm gonna love you with a very long spoon mm -hmm. a long 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 spoon like right. <laughs> so then I mean, as you were going through the process, by the way, that's very mature mm -hmm. of you to, it took to a be minute. able to, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> to be wasn't, able to do it that. Took a minute. But when you were going through the process, um, did you talk to other people about it? Did you like how did you start to release it, you know, in order to heal enough to say, OK, I'm good with it? Well, before I even knew about the art process, I was in the art process <laughs> because one, I had to acknowledge what had happened. What what's going on? What 
Why, mm-hmm. like, did who did this? Mm-hmm. And then I started, like, um, what's it called? Process of elimination. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it could only be one person. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So once I realized who that person is that was trying to hurt me, and then I had to um, just kind of, like digressing what what is what am I feeling right. like why did that hurt me and why did I allow it to happen or how could I have done anything different and I did all of that process and I was like you know what it wasn't me right that was their pain and mm-hmm. that was their trauma they were going through something and they didn't they I guess they felt like because they weren't getting ahead they didn't want me to get ahead right and that's something that they needed to deal with on their own so I started going into the restore process where okay internally I forgive that person and I'm gonna let it go and I'm gonna pray I'm gonna pray for you right okay because now I'm the bigger person and I'm not wishing no harm to you or whatever I'm going to pray for you and hope that whatever was troubling you enough to think that you can do this to me right you have overcame that right and that's when the transformation began right and hey I mean like I said, the meeting never happened, but I have transformed because I recognize I was the bigger person to right. to go through that process, whether it was, you know, with them or without them. Right. I needed to go through that process. So did that person um, ever accept responsibility or ever, you know, admit that they... I don't think they ever will, honestly. Right, right. And I'm okay with that. Okay. I'm okay with that. You don't have to. Hurt people hurt people, you know? Right. So. And as long as I know that I'm never going to put myself in that situation to allow you to hurt me like that again, I'm good. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But now have you um, created the tool to go in your toolkit so that you can recognize that when it's happening instead of, you know, after it happens? Yes. So. I mean, th- yes and no. I mean, I have okay. the toolkit. <laughs> I'm still a work in progress. Okay. Um I, I'm still learning to create create boundaries. I'm still learning to, you know, put people in the place that they need to be in in my mm-hmm. life. And I have to realize that not everybody has good intentions. Right. You know? And once you realize that, because I'm a good person at heart, you be thinking everybody is of a good course. person at heart. But that's of not course. really the case. So... I mean, like I said, it's still a work in progress. Right. You know, the devil comes in different disguises. Oh, for sure. And And (laughs) he seems to test you with the people that are closest to you. Absolutely. Because those are the only people that can harm you, Mm -hmm. right? If you're away over there, you can't even reach me. Say what you want, do what you want. But those people that are like right here. And then what about those people on the outside who try to create? Sound like you got got a story. (laughs) What's going on? Um... I think my greatest challenge is recognizing that people aren't good at heart. Like you said, hurt people. Yes, hurt people. that they aren't good. I wasn't raised in an environment that was filled with trauma and drama. Mm-hmm. You know, if if anybody knows my mom, which I'm sure many of you do, you know, she still can't see. She helps everybody. the devil within. Mm-hmm. She cannot see it, and so she didn't like allow us to see that we didn't grow up like that so i'm thinking everybody's good sure i can help you you can help me let's go on Mm -hmm. so when you try to help somebody you think okay they're going to receive it they're going to be happy about it but you never realize that they're plotting and planning behind your back so every day smiling in your face face, yep complimenting you you know patting you on the back for everything you've achieved but and talking about everybody else to warn you Mm -hmm. about everybody else but the person so what did you do in that situation because that sounds like it was a particular situation so you know i'm still healing i'm I'm gonna be very honest but that incident took me a very long time to forgive Mm -hmm. And to release. I'm telling you every day. I'm, I know you guys got tired of me. Because that was my <laughs> conversation. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. But I didn't know how to process it. Because I'm like, what do you mean? Mm-hmm. This person was one of the closest people to me. Are you kidding me? Yeah. What do you mean? And, and you're blinded to it. And the thing about it, too, is I remember telling you. I remember there's a couple of times that yeah. I was like, a uh, baby. <laughs> and it's like... But you don't want to believe that. No. You want to think and, and good to be of anybody. honest, yeah. let me let me just say this. 
I did see that person do stuff like that to other people. But so you, then why you, do you think it won't happen I, to I you? I know, right? That's the crazy part. Because you feel like, nope, they'll never do it to me because we're, we're close. We're this, we're that. But a snake... It's going to be a snake. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm telling you, it literally consumed me. Mm -hmm. I was so hurt. And I've never been in that space before where I was like angry and hurt at the same time and just like, I can't believe this. So what did you do? How did you? So I, I tried to put it in perspective and... I think I made a lot of excuses. I was just at about first. to say, tell the truth, because I, I, I know. I made, a lot, of made a lot of excuses at first, and because I really didn't want to believe it was happening. Mm -hmm. And in the back of my mind, I knew it was happening. Right. But after I got beyond making the excuses, I really had to sit down with myself and say, you know what? This is real. Right. This is real. And by the same token, when you know better, you have to do better. And because this was life altering. Now, have you talked to that person? I, I know that you have came through some kind of peace in yourself, but have you made peace with that person? Have you had a conversation? Like, I mean, I already know the answer to the question, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure that our family wants to know. Well, the problem is this. When you're dealing with a person that feels like they didn't do anything wrong and has convinced themselves that they didn't do anything it's hard, wrong. It's hard to make that peace. You can't make peace because every time I try to go into my happy space and say, okay, I really don't want this rift. Mm -hmm. So let me see, is there a way? Now, I don't ever plan to be in the same relationship with that person, but I don't want to carry that. Right. So I'm, every time I say, okay, let me take, let me be mature about this and let me try to take a step forward and possibly just have a conversation. Mm -hmm. I can't because I get more information about the person who feels like they weren't wrong. Telling everybody else they <laughs> Exactly. But never telling me, never right. having a conversation with me. So I understand how hard it is to forgive. And like I've been in maybe worse situations that were easier to forgive because this one I was just like blindsided, like completely, like I'm still like, <laughs> I still can't believe this. <laughs> I can't believe it. But I mean, um, like you said, you have to find um, forgiveness in yourself for yourself, right. because that person is walking around just living life mm -hmm. and you are giving them power right. over you because you're holding on to anger and resentment. So the process and of, they're winning that, that, that they is, are, they're winning. They are. Yeah. They are. And so the process for of forgiveness has to be very intentional. You, very, very intentional. You have to decide, I am going to let this go. One way or another. Of course, the process looks different right. for everybody. But you literally have to sit with yourself and say, you know what? No matter what it takes, I don't want to hold on to this anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let it go. Whether I receive an apology, whether I don't, I don't want to give you any more of my power. That's the more the inward forgiveness. Right. Yeah. Right. Because outwardly, you're not going to get it, right. especially when the person is like, Psh, they didn't, I didn't they do, didn't do that wrong. I can't believe she's mad at me or whatever, you know, so you, you have to then just make it about you. And then once you're able to do that, you'll look back at it and it'll still bother you because you won't forget. But what you don't want to do is hold on to it so much so that it spills over. Right. And to your other relationships. Exactly impacting exactly. a lot of things. Right. And then you're looking at everybody with side eye. You have your walls because up. Because you can't, you feel like you can't trust. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's a very, very awful space to be in. Right. Where you're angry at, at, with everybody. You can't trust anybody. Mm -hmm. But that's internal healing. That's you know, you, transformation. You, yes, you, you have to. Mm -hmm. Because if not... I'm walking around just mad, like, what is wrong with her? <laughs> you know, but you carry it, and it just consumes you. Right. And then I become angry man. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, I, I just, but like I said, this was so foreign to me. I've never been, like, you and I have fallen out. Right. But I wasn't mad. I wasn't, like, hurt. No, I was I, well, <laughs> you, and guess what? It was nothing. It was nothing. And who was, it was, because it was an outside person. Yep. 
That was funny. Yeah. I just, <laughs> that was a funny situation. Oh I remember God. mom came and she was like, look. Y'all too close for this shit. Exactly. We all like, need to work it out. We, and mm, both of us. No, I'm I mad. ain't calling. I'm, I'm mad. Calling. I'm not calling. And your mom was like, no, y'all gonna work this shit out. <laughs> I remember that. And I'm like, oh my God. But it just, it's still the emotion behind it. Like when we reconnected, it was like we never, right. you know, were apart. But for this one, I'm hey. sorry. <laughs> that Taurus in me is like. You put yourself in a certain position in my life, and now you're never going to come out of that. Right. Because I trusted you, and I let you into spaces that I don't let people in. Yeah. And I know better. I knew better, and I just didn't do it because I'm like, hey, it's okay. Because they were close. Exactly. And you thought that if and and, that was the last person that you thought would ever exactly. do anything like that. And yeah. that's not my default. My default is to trust you and to do think that you will behave like I would behave. Mm -hmm. And that's a flaw. That's a flaw oh. because everybody is not wired that yeah. way. You don't know who's watching, who is plotting, who's planning. So you have to just keep your guards up. And most likely they're always plotting and planning. But that's because, the sad part. And it's like, oh, I lost my whole train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> it you was said good, plotting though. and planning. Did plotting. it come back? No, plotting, <laughs> planning. Okay, you keep going. I'm going to think about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe we need a sip. Yeah, that's going to help me. Okay. <laughs> but overall, I'm better. But this one took me about a year and a half. Yeah. A year and a half to get to the point where when I started talking about it, I wasn't mad anymore. Because I was mad. I'm still thinking about what the hell my thought was. <laughs> But like I said, just it's not about freeing the other person or getting an apology. It's really about freeing yourself so that you could just be at peace, right. so that you could continue to grow, so that you don't hold on to something that's so foreign because anger is a foreign emotion. You are supposed to be happy. And so you don't treat other people differently exactly. when it wasn't them that actually did it to exactly. you. Exactly. And then, you know, anger, it releases all kind of negative chemicals in your body. Cortisol, and, and then you yeah, be fat. adrenaline. <laughs> yeah. And we don't like it. Right. <laughs> Excuse me. But, <laughs> but yeah, so you just want to want to find a way to regain your peace. And the way to do that is through forgiveness. Right. So if you're angry with somebody right now and you just don't know how to get past it, it's time to sit down and have a conversation with yourself. with yourself. And it's time to be very intentional about releasing the pain and the trauma mm -hmm. and the anger. The resentment. Yes. That happened because that person wronged you. And once you do that, you're going to feel so at peace. And then it's now you can begin to grow. Right. And then yeah. you can share your story. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to. You know, you could do it anonymously like we did. I don't really want to put people on blast. Um, if the story's about you, it's about you, right? But you can begin to tell your story in a way that maybe somebody else, you know, can understand and grow from it. And you know, it's crazy. I just had a thought right now. What? I wonder if the people that we're talking about watch this podcast and be like, I think they talk about, <laughs> I think or, they talk about me. Or even worse. It's not about me. <laughs> so Yeah. It could go either and, and way. Baby, oh, it's about you. Yeah. It's about you. But <laughs> really at the end of the day, it's about me. Yeah. It's about you. Because you and, gotta make yourself a priority. Exactly. And letting them weigh that heavy on you is Yeah. Yeah, that's not and putting just, yourself. Just first. accept them for who they are, push them aside if need be. Realize that the process of forgiveness doesn't mean that you have to restore relationships. You just want to restore your inner own peace. inner peace. Mm -hmm. And yeah. if that means that you have to not see them again, do that. That's fine. Pretty much. You know, because you don't want to put yourself in a situation where that snake bites you again. Right. You need to redefine, recreate your boundaries and know where to place people. You know what? I just had a thought. I know somebody that wrote a book about that. I think it might be time for our first guest. 
And mm. our, I think we should talk about more in depth about creating boundaries because... Oh, well, that's a huge topic. It is a huge topic, but it goes along with this because one, and once you're able to forgive, if you don't know how to create boundaries, it's going it's to happen, happen again. again. It might not be that, from that person yes. because you're going to be like, oh, I'm not letting that person do that right. to me. I know what they're capable of, but do you know what they capable of? Right. Capable of? And do it's, you know what like you said what boundaries you need to put up so that a person cannot cross into that realm right. where they can hurt you yeah i think i think it's time for our first guest mm, that's we should we should think about that absolutely okay. absolutely well, so what's, what's up with the can we get a dr ellen tip okay so my tip today would be to recognize that forgiveness is all about you find the lesson in it and grow from it Wrote, you must have read my tip. I Hold did on. not. I got, I got something to say, but I don't remember. <laughs> Let me see. Forgiving people is a powerful action that can release us from negative emotions and allow us to move forward. It can help us let go of grudges and resentment and create space for healing and growth. There you go. Sounds like it's time to drop, drop that the anchor. <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you for joining. Um, please remember, like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. We really appreciate you. Appreciate. Uh, <laughs> approach, <laughs> approach, approach, <laughs> we really appreciate you being here with us weekly. And if you don't have those post notifications on, you might miss some. So please. And did we give a shout out to we Destiny? We did not. I was about to Man, remind please. you. Okay. We need to give a shout out to Destiny Cloud Sessions because without them, we would not we be would here We would not be today. here in this beautiful studio. We'll go ahead and drop the information in case you are interested in podcasts or photography as well, right? Exactly. And please, please, please let us know if there's a topic that you're interested in us talking about. If you have an anchor that you need to drop that you're struggling with, please, please, please let us know. And we will do our best to find a situation. <laughs> I'm sure we I'm have sure we've been through it. That we can talk about that will help you to drop your own anchor. All right. See you next time. Catch you later. <laughs>